So I've decided I'm going to try something a little different. I'm making this video right within the YouTube app to go directly onto my channel. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about some things I've been feeling, struggling with lately. Um, I'm here on the third floor in Chipsa Hospital. Nobody's in here right now. As you can see, I'm all by my, myself. The, the outpatient room downstairs is full. And uh, when that happens, some people get moved to the third floor. I don't mind getting moved to the third floor. Oftentimes I can sit in here and work and um, edit videos and put things together and, or rest. But I want to talk to you briefly about uh, well, cancer sucks. Cancer sucks. Um, it's been emotional for me the last few days as I, uh, <sighs> okay, let me, let me just start with this. Um, you know, it was a, a little over a year ago when I decided to start fighting, fighting this cancer. Um, I'd already had it for quite some time and I wasn't doing anything about it because I didn't care and I was letting myself go knowingly I put on a mask for my kids and for everybody else but behind closed doors I was uh severely depressed and was just staying in my bed and uh, as a uh, self-employed person you can imagine how well that went over with everything um, so my business uh, suffered everything was suffering except when I was with my kids I, I've always tried to to the best I could to I put on the, the face for them and to give them the experiences and the love that I would hope and that I know that they deserve. But when I take them home or back to their mom, I would uh, go back, right back to that hole. Anyway, um, something shifted. Sometime I will tell you in more detail what happened. But basically, I decided to fight when I realized that I was losing my life. Like I was basically committing suicide. And I even heard the voices coming to me, which I'd fight that I'd fight. I had fought with the uh, the darkness before enough to know what I was actually dealing with, and it scared me a lot. That's when I drew a line in the sand and started fighting. So I've taken this cancer to be a gift, and it is a gift. It's a gift that um, gives you access to parts of yourself that you probably simply wouldn't access otherwise. It's a gift for the way that it enables you to truly hit the reset button on your life, to reflect on what matters most, to uncover everything that you would otherwise be unwilling to look at. And in that way, it can draw out your best. And if you choose it can actually be the catalyst for you to have the life you most desire and to create the sort of future for yourself that you really, that you believe in. That's what I've been doing. That's what I've been choosing, right? That's what I've been choosing. And I'm going to continue to choose that. But with that said... Cancer sucks. As someone on the outside who believed in natural medicine even before all this started, I can tell you that after everything I've gone through, after all the types of people I've seen, the people who are younger than me, who don't make it, the people who lose limbs, and after having amputation to supposedly stop the cancer they discovered in their longer brain 
the people who had the perfect diet get metastasis, stage four cancer. People who were doing good, doing something with their life that mattered, involved in making a difference with a pure heart, they get cancer. And of course, assholes get cancer too. But seeing, seeing all of this and knowing what I know and what I've experienced, cancer is cruel. It is so cruel. And there is no solution that you would hope exists so far. There's not been... Now, let me, let me just say this. Absolutely, there is hope. There is hope. I'm living proof that there's hope. But the idea, the arrogance of some people, both in the medical community and the mainstream, to suggest that their their absolutely dismal failure of a system is producing the sort of results you should trust in, and also the arrogance in the natural health field of people who don't know any better, who think, you know, oh, there's a cure for cancer, it's just take this one thing, or... It's baking soda, it's alkaline. You just need to alkalize the body. You just need to take the certain supplement. You just need to do ozone or oxygen and it's a cancer cure. Listen, all those things could work and all those things could be helpful, but none of them are a cancer cure. It's bullshit. It doesn't work like that. And um, this subject is so much more nuanced than you'd ever believe. You could take the same person that has the same sort of cancer and the same sort of age group and the same sort of body, and they respond differently to the same sort of therapy. It, you know, it, one therapy might work for one person and not work for the other, even on the same sort of cancer. It's bizarre. It is truly bizarre. But uh, in the last few weeks, you know, my tongue has been swelling up, and... Um, it's concerned me, and I got an MRI, and it just reminds me that I have this cancer in a way that I just want to be past this. I just want to be past this. And, uh, I've got so much to do. i got so much I want to live for. Not only to be the, the example to my kids, and, but I have a heart too. I know my calling and I want the world, I want to influence as many people as I possibly can with the knowledge of the value of their life and the power that they have to make choices that just want to be past this but that feeling so as I've, I've been moving forward I've been making some really good progress and strides not just in my cancer but beyond this cancer for the future I want to create for the mission that I have the calling on my life to be a voice to influence and shape culture in a positive direction to be someone bold enough and naive enough to believe that as a child of God, I'm loved and compelled by the only authority that truly matters. And that's the intelligence that created this whole thing. And frankly, I want to create stuff. I'm going to create stuff that is a catalyst for lots of people. I want to grow my influence and my audience, not because... I care so much to be seen, although we all want to be seen, but because deep down there's this burning passion within me that realizes the value of what I've been given, the value of my voice because of the substance, because of what it is pointing people to, and that is something that matters, it matters a great deal. I've been making some important strides in that direction towards creating the future I want with regards to my my mission. And when I wake up with 
after after not feeling any pain for for weeks on end and then all of a sudden having a lot more pain and swelling in my tongue you know it just is a reminder the anchor of you got cancer bro this thing could take you out if you're not careful And everything is going slower because of this cancer. I mean, <laughs> that's so foolish for me to say. <sighs> everything needs to go slower because this cancer is teaching me patience. And it's the number one priority. But as you can hear in statements like that, I, I have a desire to move far, farther faster than what I've been able to. And on top of all that, you know, people let you down, things let you down, there's disappointments we all deal with. Then I'm faced with seeing people that I care about and love that don't make it. I'm being here in the hospital. I've seen people come and go. I've been here longer than most people, maybe more than anybody ever. I don't know. But I've had... Friends that don't make it. And I see friends coming back. It's hard. And I see young people I've never met who are dealing with a much worse version of this than me. And it pisses me off. It just seems like this cancer is so cruel. It's, it's so cruel. It's no joke, guys. It's no joke. And so, I'm reorient reorienting my focus, my number one priority is to continue healing. You know, I've made a lot of great progress. I have so much, so much to be thankful and proud for. But I'm human, guys. I'm human. I never want to be inauthentic with you. When you see my positivity, that's my authentic self. That's who I am. When you hear my encouragement, my excitement, my curiosity for life, that's who I am. That's just who I am. This is also who I am. It's not often that I feel this way or, or, or deal with this, but this is part of life too. Being able to grieve and feel is important. It's important. I want to thank all of you for your continued support. Um, part of the pressure I've felt recently has been on the fact that uh, my GoFundMe has been really stagnant for quite some time. You know, I'm a little over halfway to my original fundraising goal, which the fundraising goal is never was enough, and we haven't reached it. And uh, I'm looking at having to come up with some other creative ways to raise funds right now because, uh, you know, I just moved to a new place to save money every month. Uh, de definitely took a downgrade. I'm more than happy to do it. Um, I could use your help on spreading my cause, my GoFundMe, um, so that so that I can continue my treatments here in Playas. Uh, if 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 I, I don't even want to consider if it doesn't happen. Needless to say, I won't be here if if it doesn't happen. But um, I've had amazing support locally. You know, the work I've been doing, volunteering, working with students here in, in uh, Tijuana has been some profound stuff that we're doing. And there's new opportunities that are forming there. I'm going to probably have the students give me some, give me some testimonials because they've shared with me how meaningful I've been in their lives. I've been told the most amazing things from people around the world that I want you to know that I so appreciate every single one of you. 
thank you for your care and your support. Matthew. And uh, yeah, thank you. I'm going to get on my treatments for today. Start with uh, my juice. What do we have first, nurse? For me? What do, yes, what do we you. what do we have uh, treatments for today? Yes, you have. Uh... I love you all. Do you want to hear about my treatments for today? You have B seventeen. B seventeen. Vitamin CK three. CK three. And Myers. Myers cocktail. The Myers is the basically a IV form of a. Filled with minerals and vitamins. Yes. Uh -huh. Good stuff for you. The CK3, oh my gosh, it's been burning like crazy. The pain has been so bad from the CK3 recently. It's so bad, I started crying the other day. It's like, dang, I need some pain pills. And you know, I don't like pain pills. I don't, I don't like taking pharmaceuticals, guys. But let me tell you something. Don't suffer unnecessarily. If you can treat those symptoms safely and without killing yourself, do it. So yeah, I don't I don't wait now too too long before it, if I need it, I use it. Um, listen, thank you so much for your support. I love you. Uh, this is just me, just rambling, being vulnerable, letting you see on the other side of this. I guess. Leave me a comment below, would you? Um, also, check out the last video. I, I haven't gotten any comments. I asked specifically for comments to the students. Um, the video is regarding, it's called I Volunteered to Teach This. Uh, please, please watch that. I would really appreciate that and would love to hear from you. A lot of awesome stuff coming soon, guys. Um, I guess that's it. From Plies to Tijuana. Be free, know truth, and keep it playful. And remember... Your life is such a gift. How easily we take it for granted. And you're worth more away than you realize. And you matter. You know. I want to encourage you. To live like you mean it. Live like you matter. Treat yourself like you're worth taking care of. Treat yourself. Like you're loved. Like you deserve to be respected. Like you deserve to be loved. Peace.